Love is not irritable or touchy. You always read that verse twice for all the married couples in the room. <laughs> Love is not irritable or touchy. <laughs> Love does not hold grudges. It will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them, always expect the best of them, and always stand your ground in defending them. All the special gifts and powers from God will someday come to an end, but love goes on forever. There are three things that remain, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Now, Mike and Brittany, true marriage is more than the joining of two people in a marriage ceremony. It is a right relationship. It is uniting of two souls that are already attuned to each other. When such a bond of love exists between a man and a woman, it is proper that an outer acknowledgement be made. This acknowledgement is the prime object of our gathering today and the object of this ceremony. We are here to sh share the joy and happiness of these two dear ones who are already one in spirit as they enter the closest of all relationships, that of husband and wife. Now today, Mike and Brittany, you are performing an act of faith and trust. For tonight you are promising to believe in each other completely as you promised to live together as husband and wife. Let each one be faithful and be holding the highest vision of the other's potential. As you give yourselves to one another, let each one support and love the other in all the experiences of life and in your chosen callings. Mike and Brittany, today you begin to build a life together. You begin to build a marriage. The scripture tells us the two shall become one. And so I want to share just a few minutes this evening on how to build a successful marriage. Someone said, oh, marriages are happy. It's the living together afterwards that causes all the problems. <laughs> now there are three things that will help you build a happy marriage. The three, these three are lifelong areas. They are things you have to constantly work on, but are essential fulfilling a fulfilling married life. Now first, Mike and Brittany, you need to build your marriage foundation on faith in God and in each other. Faith in God and in each other. We, we know any building is only strong as its foundation. To build a successful marriage, it must be built on a solid foundation. Mike and Brittany, your marriage will be successful as far as your marriage and lives rest on a foundation of faith in God and faith in each other. As you follow Christ's example of self sacrificial love and giving that he just demonstrated to all of us by giving his life for us. If you put your faith in God and in each other and live to the best of your ability for him and your spouse in this example of sacrificial love, I believe your marriage will then rest on a sure foundation. Secondly, you need to build walls of communication. To have a successful marriage, you must talk and share everything with each other. Right? All right, thank you briefly. Okay. Spend time listening to each other and never become too busy for your spouse. That may mean sometimes to shut off the TV or stop playing a video game or phone with your computer or putting down the phone or just stay home instead of running to the store or shopping. You see, marriages rarely end in a blowout. They usually end by a slow leap. It is the neglect of loving communication. So be careful not to nag or harp on one another. The preacher said, my wife's an angel. She harps all day long. <laughs> Mike and Brittany, you're marrying each other the way you are. So accept it. Don't try to change each other. It usually doesn't work anyway. It's better to grow together. You grow by communication through kind words, through listening to others' concerns, through a loving touch, through kindness is shown, and through consideration and respect for each other. Build walls of communication in the good times 
and in the bad times. And above all, communicate with God by prayer and worship. Loving communication is essential for a happy marriage. Now thirdly and lastly, you need to build a roof of commitment. A marriage must be, a marriage must have a commitment so strong that separation is not even an option. You are making here today a commitment to each other so strong no matter what may come, good or bad, you'll be there for each other. Mike and Brittany, today you're making vows of commitment, a, a promise not based on feeling, but an act of your will. You are choosing each other. You choose to love each other whether you feel like it or not. I guarantee you, and everyone in this room who is married will guarantee you that sometimes you will not feel in love. You'll be irritated, maybe angry at each other. But remember, love is a commitment of your will, not the emotions. You choose to love each other in the good times and the bad till death do you part. So we have three basic truths to have a successful marriage. Form a foundation of faith in God and in each other. Build walls of loving communication. And put a roof of lifelong commitment over your marriage. Now we join me as we ask God's blessing upon this couple. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. You are present in every turning of our life's way. We now stop to seek your guidance and your blessing on this event. We are grateful that you are love, have created us in your image. So we ask you to richly bless these two lives now to be made one in this bond of love. May they each live for the other and both for you. May their home be your abiding place and may you be their constant guide. In his great name we ask it. Amen. Amen. Now, Mike and Brantley, you realize that today you both assume some grave and serious responsibility. Mike, you are assuming the leadership of this home. To be a husband and eventually we hope a father is not an easy task. When problems mount, you become discouraged, and you will sometime, I promise. When you feel like giving up, I want you to remember the vows you are making here today. You are making a lifelong commitment commitment to Brittany on March what? 29th, 2014. Now, if Mike ever gets discouraged and he comes to you complaining, where's mom and dad? All right? How many promise to encourage Mike? Tell him, Mike, remember on March 29th, the vows you made to Brittany? <coughs> you go back and make things right. Go help him. Anybody promise? All right, good. Now, Brenda, yours is no easy, easy task either. We know, Mike. <laughs> You're no longer your own boss in the same way before. Independent of others' wishes, you join with your husband as his helpmate and partner and, and pledge, pledge to work together as one. Now, if Brittany ever gets discouraged and says, Mom, I'm ready to give up, who's going to remind her that on March, what? 29, 2014, she made a lifelong, even grandmom's got her hand around, <laughs> lifelong commitment to Michael. See, today, you are saying, I choose to love you. Brittany and Mike, you're saying, I choose to love you, warts and all. You see, Mike and Brittany, this is not just a ceremony. These are not mere words. You are here making vows of a lifelong commitment to each other. Not only in front of these people, your family and friends, but I believe in front of God himself. So after all that, you still want to get married. Are you ready? Are you sure? All right. Everyone heard that, right? Okay. Now, Mike and Brittany, from this day forward, you'll take on new and greater responsibilities. The man and woman of your choice is now to become the partner of your life. Now, Mike and Brittany asked us to do something different at this wedding ceremony. I've never done it before. But Mike and Brittany asked several members of their family and friends to offer a vow and a promise for them to include in this marriage ceremony. They will address either Mike or Brittany and say and ask them, do you promise to? Who are those folks who are going to help with the marriage vows? Now, 
Now they knew your your asking. Give them their names. So everybody knows, all right? And then the bell. Brittany, do you promise to have patience with Mike's ADD moments? Let him finish talking and to put the dishes in the dishwasher. I do. <laughs> Do you promise to indulge Mike's prepper tendencies to let him buy whatever he wants, but to reel him in when absolutely necessary? I do. <laughs> Mike, do you promise to measure all large puddles before entry? I do. <laughs> Mike. Will you always be supportive of Brittany's other two great loves, bread baking and Harry Potter? Absolutely. <laughs> Mike, do you promise to take Brittany for a manicure after she cleans your block? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Maybe seated. Fun. But I think I got to I do also, if you don't mind. We didn't practice this. Mike and Brittany, you promise to love each other, to protect each other. We devote yourself to each other's care. We'll be loyal to each other and together build a home. Absolutely. Very good. All right. Now, since your desire to take each other's husband and wife, we are now doing right hands and express your marriage vow. the other ones. Mike, repeat after me. I, Mike. I, Mike. Take thee, Brittany. Take thee, Brittany. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. To cherish. Till death, till death, do us part, do us part, according to God's holy word, according to God's holy word. I give you my love, I give you my love. I love you, Brittany. I love you, Brittany. With all my heart, with all my heart. Now, Brittany, repeat after me. I, Brittany. I, Brittany. Take thee, Michael. Take thee, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer, for richer, for poorer, for poorer, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, to love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish, till death, till death, do us part, us part, according, according, to God's holy word, to God's holy word, I give you my love, I give you my love, I love you, Mike, I love you, Mike, with all my heart, with all my heart, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mike, Michael, what token you give as evidence that you will keep your marriage vow? Right. You want to give it a ring? You have it there? Oh, remember it. Take it out of the box. All right. Thank you. Now we'll show this beautiful ring. This ring now becomes the token of your marriage covenant. May your life, like this endless circle, be a symbol of the unbroken union you enjoy with Brittany. May the preciousness of this medal speak of the love of God to Brittany as she wears in remembrance of this sacred service. Michael, <coughs> place this ring on the finger of your bride and repeat after me. I give thanks, I give thanks. for our love shared. For our love shared. <coughs> I, all that I am, all that I am. And, all that I have, and all that I have, I share with you. I share with you. Whatever the future holds, Whatever the future holds I, will love you I will love you and stand by you, stand by you. as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now, Brittany, what token you give as evidence that you will keep your marriage vow? All right. <laughs> now, place this ring on Mike's finger. <laughs> May it be a token of your sacred pledge of fidelity and love and a memorial of this service, and you please repeat after me. I give thanks, I give thanks for, our love, for our love, our love shared. Our love shared. All that I am, all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I share with you. I share with you. Whatever the future holds, whatever the future holds, I will love you. I will love you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now, as you walk hand in hand from this altar, may your wills be so knit together in God's love, and your spirits. In
His Spirit, that you will grow in love and peace all the days of your life. And may you be to each other a strength in time of need, a counselor in time of uncertainty, a comfort in times of sorrow, and a companion in times of joy. Now our blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Well, you're almost ready. You ready now? Ready for the pronouncement? And now heaven and earth have heard our vows. Therefore, by the authority invested in me by the church and the laws of the state of New Jersey. Ready? Ready, everybody? I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I know you don't need any practice, Michael, but you may now kiss the bride. Give me a hand. And here we have Mr. and Mrs. Michael Orr Jr. Rise and give him another big hand.